Hey, Michael Kerr here. There's been just a little bit of uncertainty in the world the last little while. And by the last little while, I mean, well, forever. We, we're always living with uncertainty. Yeah, and maybe we have a little more uncertainty than we have in past times. But if you are going to rock it in your workplace, if you're going to be a more effective leader, if you're going to build a stronger workplace culture, a more resilient workplace culture, if you're going to manage those bad hair days, you need to learn to manage uncertainty, and especially as a leader, you need to manage uncertainty in the workplace. So I've got a few tips for helping you manage uncertainty in these continuously uncertain times. Number one, I wanna remind you again that during uncertain times, your culture matters even more so. Your values matter even more so. Connecting employees, including yourself, to a sense of purpose, to a sense of meaning in your jobs matters more than ever when things become uncertain and when you feel like you're adrift. You have to refocus your attention, your energies on why your purpose matters, what your meaning is in your job. You have to double down on your values. Here's what I always say, right? Values, anybody can live those wonderful, inspiring values that you have in your organization during the good times, right? It's really easy to live by those positive, wonderful values when things are going just fabulously. It's when things are challenging. It's when there's lots of uncertainty and change going on and stress going on in our workplace that our values matter even more. It's during those times our values matter even more and it's during those times when the true test of your values comes into play. This is where you cannot afford to skimp on your values. You cannot afford to take shortcuts and do things you wouldn't otherwise do during the good times. This is when you really have to make sure your values mean something and actions speak louder than words and talk is cheap. So make sure you are doubling, nay, tripling, nay, quadrupling down on your values and focusing intentionally on your culture. Here's what we know from the research and going back through the pandemic, for example, we know that organizations that had really strong cultures already in place tended to survive the pandemic, to survive the uncertainty that much better than organizations with weak cultures. So double down on your culture during times of uncertainty. That's when people really need to know why your culture matters, what it is you stand for in your workplace culture. Number two, remember that during times of uncertainty, communication is even more important. Communication, in fact, is everything, and everything is communication during times of uncertainty. So this is when you wanna make sure you are being extra intentional about having really high quality, meaningful conversations with employees. This is when you wanna make sure you're intentionally checking in with employees on a one-on-one -on -one basis, where you're regularly having team meetings, where you're instituting perhaps daily morning huddles, where everybody meets every morning just for maybe five to 10 minutes as a check-in point. Those become really, really important as a foundation during times of uncertainty. During times of uncertainty, you can institute a few best practices into your meetings to help you facilitate better communications. For example, in one organization where I worked where we had lots of uncertainty and lots of change going on, in the middle of our meetings, we used to have the rumor mill agenda item in our meetings where the way it worked was you had to lean into the table, look up and down, and then whisper, word on the street is, and then share your rumor. And that just made it safe, it made it playful for people to bring up some uncomfortable things they were hearing during this period of change and uncertainty. But make sure you are investing, really investing in your communication during times of uncertainty. In fact, some studies suggest that when there's lots of change going on, lots of uncertainty going on, you should be communicating five times as often as you regularly do. Number three, during times of uncertainty, be extra intentional, not just about your culture, not just about your communication, be extra intentional about injecting some fun activities into your workplace. Be extra intentional about injecting more humor into your workplace and creating more celebration, more events, more social events. It's so important that people feel connected to one another, that people feel positive energy in the workplace. And it's so important that you build opportunities for people to collaborate with one another and feel like they are all part of the same team. Number four, again, and I go to this all the time, but it's a great practice during times of uncertainty. Use the old wheel of fortune to have some good conversations, some good framework around 
what you need to talk about. So the Wheel of Fortune, just four questions that you ask, starting with, okay, what is one thing we need to just learn to accept? And maybe that one thing is, there's a lot of uncertainty going on. And here are all the things that we don't know what's gonna happen for a while, and we just need to learn to live with it. So that's the first question. What's one thing we need to learn to just live with? Second question, what is one thing we all need to just stop doing? Let's commit as a team to stop doing this. Number three, what's one thing we all need to commit to start doing or create? And number four, what is one thing that we need to remember to keep doing consistently? We do it, but sometimes we're not doing it as well as we could be or we're a little inconsistent. So what do we need to remember to keep doing consistently? And number five, this may sound a little, I don't know, trite or cheesy, but number five, when there's lots of uncertainty going on in your workplace, in the world, just remember to be extra kind with one another, be extra patient with one another, understand that people can feel very stressed during times of uncertainty. People can be wrestling with a lot of stuff in their personal lives that we don't know about. So this is the time again too, when we have to not just be extra intentional about our culture, about our values, about communication, about fun. We have to be extra intentional about just being kind with one another and supporting one another. So what about you? What do you do during times of uncertainty to minimize your stress? What do you do to help people focus on what they need to do in their jobs during times of uncertainty? Please leave a comment or a question in the comment box below. If you haven't signed up for my weekly newsletter, I would invite you to do that at my website, www.mikekerr.com. Go to the bottom of the page, sign up. You'll get a weekly infusion of great ideas and inspiration and fun to help you build a more rocking, less soul-sucking workplace. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my Inspiring Workplaces channel, please hit the subscribe button. Join our growing community as we talk about inspiring workplaces that rock.